this is Rick from Country Sales and Service, and we're making this video here to show you how we recommend bleeding uh, the fuel system out after you install an injection pump. So once the injection pump is installed, you want to uh, put your fuel pump up, or if it's a mechanical pump, um, you're going to want to crank it over, and we're going to want to bleed the air out of the injection pump first before we put the lines on. So let me go ahead and get this hooked up, and I'll show you what to look for when we're bleeding the air out of the pump itself. So now we got fuel going to it, um, we're going to go ahead and crank it over and we're going to bleed all the air out of the pump. Now, as you can see, we had fuel spitting out of all four barrels there. Um, sometimes you might have an air pocket. Um, it, you might have to crank it longer um, to get that air pocket out. But as long as you got fuel spitting out all four of those, uh, it should be good to go. So before we put the lines on, you're going to want to make sure that the pump was installed correctly. The forks are lined up. So the way we do that is we just pull the stop lever back and that should shut it off. So if now once the stop lever is pulled back, we crank it over, you shouldn't see any fuel spitting out of those at all. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. You can see the difference, that pump is installed correctly, so it is shutting off when you pull the stop lever. So at this point, we can put our hard lines on and then we'll bleed the air out of the lines. You want to tighten the lines down all the way at the pump and start these so they line up right, but you're gonna to wanna to leave them loose up at the injectors. So just a quick tip, if you have to pull these lines off, what you need to do is put a wrench down here on the bottom of the barrel holder there so you don't turn that barrel holder. If you turn that loose, there's an O-ring inside there. It could start to leak fuel there and it actually put your pump out of time um, and that'll cause a misfire, um, cause all kinds of stuff. So you gotta make sure that you're holding that down at the bottom when you loosen these lines up. Now the middle one's there, you can't get a wrench on. So what we do is stick a screwdriver in there and then you can break that loose and that should hold it. So you, you don't wanna get those to turn down there. All right, so now we got these tight down here. We have these just hand tight. And now we're gonna bleed the air out of the line. As you can see, we have fuel coming out of all four of the lines here. So we should be good to go on that. Um, all the air is out of it. So now we can tighten this down. So 
Once those are all tight, I would recommend taking a blow gun, blowing off all the excess fuel that's laying on top of the head um, around the injection pump so you can check for leaks after you fire it up. But this engine is uh, ready to fire up. Uh, all right, if you have any questions uh, about this uh, bleeding the fuel pump, bleeding the lines out, or any other questions about uh, Kubota engines we sell or service here, uh, feel free to give us a call at 330-683-2500 or check us out on our website, countrysalesandservice.com. Um, and uh, that about does it. Thank you.